County Sheriff's investigators are currently in Louisiana interrogating a man accused of killing his wife at their Fayetteville home. Investigators say they found his wife's body partially burned and buried in a shallow grave. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. 39-year-old Carrie Harden was a complete sweetheart. She was loving, caring, nurturing, fun, and funny. A nurse by trade, Carrie was absolutely made for her job. She possessed all of the good qualities needed in a nurse. On the job, she was dedicated to her patients, and her compassion and empathy shined through. Much of those same nursing qualities are exactly what made her an amazing mother to her two beautiful sons. Carrie was a spiritual woman, and she wholeheartedly believed that her two boys were a special gift from God. Carrie was married to 39-year-old Kenneth Harding Jr. He was a pastor, and the two had been together for more than 14 years. He was the father of both of her babies, and they built a beautiful life together. Ken got his start in ministry on the mean streets of St. Louis, where the couple was from. He was known to pull up on some of the harshest areas of the city and tirelessly preach the Word of God. Eventually, he created his own organization called Church in the Wild, which became very popular in the inner city. His dedication to God is absolutely one of the many qualities that drew Carrie in. The two seem to have the perfect life together, eventually moving to Georgia. But the move was not all positive. Atlanta, like LA and a few other major cities, has a way of bringing out the best or the worst in people. The latter seemed to be true for Ken. It's like after the move to Atlanta, he just lost himself. That strong connection he had with God began to dwindle away slowly but surely, leaving a way for the devil to have full reign in his life and his world. It was yesterday at approximately 11 a.m. We get a phone call from 145 Merlin Court which is in Northwest Fett County. And we got a call from a man who had identified himself as a father of an individual that inside this residence was a homicide scene. He had related that his son had um, purchased a plane ticket for him to fly to Georgia and met him at a bank earlier before we were notified and had done legal documentation uh, control of bank accounts and things like that, told his father, which we would identify the suspect as Kenneth Harden Jr., 39 years of age, that he had told his father that he had shot his wife and pretty much that he was now going to be on the run, that their two children and the victim would be his wife and their two children were in school, an elementary age child and a middle school child. So when the officers got on the scene, they cleared the house. It's a very large, very nice house, nice neighborhood. Matter of fact, the neighbors had told us that they were good neighbors, no issues. So at that point, the officers cleared the residence. This house was almost 7,000 square feet, had some out, out structures as well. But the officers could definitely tell immediately that there was somebody with some blood loss and that somebody had attempted to clean this crime scene. I got almost basically two calls at the same time that the cadaver dog located our victim which was buried in a very shallow grave on the back part of the property and at the same time that the uh, St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office took him into custody without incident. Police say in the early morning hours of August 20th of 2024, Ken and Carrie Harden got into a heated argument after a night of drinking. The argument continued to escalate and escalate as the night went on until Ken snapped, shooting Carrie to death. After fatally injuring her, he attempted to cover his tracks by burning her body and burying her in the couple's backyard. All this while their two children lie sleeping in their beds. The morning after, he dropped the two boys off at school and called his father, who lived in a different state. He bought him a plane ticket to Georgia. When his father arrived, he picked him up from the airport and confessed to the murder of his wife. 
Fayette County Sheriff's investigators are currently in Louisiana interrogating a man accused of killing his wife at their Fayetteville home. Investigators say they found his wife's body partially burned and buried in a shallow grave. Fox News' Eric Mock joins us from the Fayette County Sheriff's Office with details about this gruesome crime. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb says in his almost 40 years of law enforcement experience, this is one of the more grisly crimes he's had to work. But thanks to quick work and coordination with other agencies, they were able to catch this suspect, even though he'd fled all the way to Louisiana. It's shocking as hell. Definitely seemed like something that would be on like a, uh, one of those shows. I didn't expect that. Jabril Muhammad says he would have never expected his neighbor, 39-year-old Kenneth Harden Jr., to be accused of something like this. He seemed like a cool dude. Like I said, he had a fireworks show down here for the kids before on the 4th of July. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb says Harden shot and killed his wife, 39-year-old Carrie Harden, early Tuesday morning while his children slept. Sheriff's office says it learned of the crime after Harden flew his father into town and gave him his last will and testament. He had told his father that he had shot his wife and pretty much that he was now going to be on the run. Harden's father called the sheriff's office who began investigating. Babb says a license plate reader helped them track Harden's car to a motel in Louisiana. A SWAT team there moved to take him into custody while they searched the large property for his wife's body. I got almost basically two calls at the same time that the cadaver dog located our victim, which was buried in a very shallow grave on the back part of the property, and at the same time that the uh, St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office took him into custody without incident. Sheriff Babs says the body was partially burned. He is completely cooperating to the point that I will tell you that Captain Lee, who has been an investigator at least three decades, said I've never had a homicide suspect want to tell us everything. Sheriff Babb says so far the motive they've gathered from Hardin was a late night domestic dispute mixed with heavy drinking. Well, Sheriff Babb is also just breathing a huge sigh of relief because investigators have learned that Hardin was, you know, considering committing suicide by cop and he was heavily armed. And of course, they're concerned after the recent shootings of law enforcement in both Paulding and Carroll County. But thankfully, Hardin chose not to go through with that. My heart truly goes out to Carrie's family, friends, and loved ones, especially her children. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship, create an out plan and get out now. Once you are out, do not turn back. Turning back can cost you your life. As always, loves, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for future content.